Now to the issue that's gained more traction since Hurricane Harvey devastated parts of the Houston area. We're talking about flood control here. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Byesson. And I'm Lauren Freeman. This afternoon, Harris County leaders talked about their plan to raise money through a proposed bond to pay for flood control measures. And the public will get a chance to weigh in on the debate. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard is live along Buffalo Bayou near downtown to explain now. Ryan. And right now they're actually putting together that list of flood control projects. But the next thing they want is to hear from you. Relief on the rebuilt banks of this stretch of the Buffalo Bayou at Dolliver Point near Gessner and Briar Forest. We used to have a 30 foot drop right there where the tree line ends. Tim Daly says homes above this bank were in danger of falling into the bayou before an emergency sewer line fix and rebuilt bank. Now he worries about his neighbors with 12 homes at risk of sliding into the Buffalo Bayou. He wants buyouts offered to the owners. They like to either hear we're going to take care of that, shore up your bayou, or we're going to buy you out and turn that into a retention area. Resilience is now job one. Today, Harris County Judge Ed Emmett unveiled details about the county's upcoming bond vote on August the 25th, the one year anniversary of Harvey, estimated at $2.5 billion. He says the money would come from bonds over 15 years and a flood control tax increase limited to 1.4% or less for each homeowner. By August the 1st, we want to be able to put out Here's a list of the projects. These are the ones we're going to do. This is what it, the money's going toward uh, very specifically. Harris County Flood Control Executive Director Russ Poppy says the money would pay for channel improvements and repairs, floodplain buyouts, and green space. Part of this uh, bond proposal will make sure that we have funding available to make sure we don't miss out on a federal funding opportunity because we didn't have the local match. So here is what is next. They will have meetings in the 23 watersheds during the next two months to try and get everybody involved. We're live on the Bayou tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.